Okay, guys, we've got one main goal over this holiday weekend, which is to finish a boat up. And then next week, we will be on the road. I'm just going to leave Jetty in there. She likes being inside sometimes. Uh, we'll finish. Let's see how my hair looks this morning. I love having a mirror on my front door. It's uh, it's wonderful. It's like, yeah, I did this because I thought, well, then I can shave right here, but I don't know. It needs to be lower for shaving. I don't really know. I don't really know. I know I, I know I don't know. That's what I know. I know I don't know. Therefore, I know that I don't know. So, what do we have left? Well, of course, like all these projects, there's issues you run into. Uh, this fuel pump replacement that I thought was going to be, look, an easy install. Uh, doesn't fit. Now, I will tell you, it doesn't actually say 130 on that box. I see 100, 105, 115, 125, 135, 140. What's wrong with this pump? Well, none of these hoses fit. Hoses from the VRO are completely different. So I think what we're gonna end up doing is we got to the fuel tank. So we just got four strapping points we're gonna take apart today, get the fuel tank forward. The sending unit seal is rotted starting to come apart so that's going to end up being a fuel leak uh, which you don't want you know you don't want a fuel leak anywhere uh, and so we're going to get that cleaned out um, get all of this put back together get one screw it's in this corner we're either going to have to drill a new hole which you don't really want to do um, or we're going to have we're going to have to find a way to get that out We'll figure that out when we get there. Everything else, we had a screw that we had to grind off over here. Let's see, it may still be in there. I don't really remember. Did we take it out yesterday? I've had so much going on. Let's look. Nope, it's still there. But it's sticking out far enough we can get pliers on there and get that out of there. So what I think we're going to end up doing is hopping back in your adventure vehicle and... Uh, just pulling the whole rig over to the barn. This trailer's nice. Do you see how high it sits? And I don't really have the motor up. And I don't probably don't need to raise it anymore. I'm just going to raise it a little bit because, well, it worries me. But this is all pretty flat, level ground. There's the putty cat. Look at her. She's been waiting for me to... Look, she's like waiting for me. Are we going somewhere? We are not. Well, we are. No, kitty cat's not coming. Kitty cat's not coming, Keys. You know, it's always something. Oh, 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 I think she's stalking us, guys. I think she might be stalking us. Oh, phone's ringing. Garbage. Key keys. Got the keys. Yeah, you'd be along for the first start of the morning with me. Let's fire this puppy up. She's still just on the couch. Did you see that? She's just, she's out cold. She's out cold. Pretty cat. Watch her. She's stalking us. Okay. Now, all the tools are over there, and there's more light. Uh, but I don't want to knock my vacuum off. Yeah, I don't always reach for the key. Uh, sometimes it's just easier to grab the key and, and go. Where's the cup holders in this boat? Right there, right there. Got a cup holder. Now, I should, yeah, still going for that key. It, it does have a button you push and it opens. Okay. Ah, 
We got to mail off the orders this morning. Well, mailman doesn't come till this afternoon, but I have to get those orders printed today. And everything in the mail to the pet groomers. Peace out, pet groomers. Uh, the seat thing just fell over. Could back it in like I did before, but let's see. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, this piece fell over. She's running rich this morning. Uh, I know the running rich is part of our fuel problem. Um, that may be just a guess. So, you know, all the mechanics out there watching Wandering Willie, let me know. Or anyone else. As long as you're qualified. As long as it's not just like some crazy stuff. Because um, I'll take the crazy comments down. Crazy comments get dropped off the face of the earth. Um, cat catalytic converter. I know we're getting a code every once in a while. So it may be too much pressure due to the, the catalytic converter. So all of this sort of stuff... We're gonna clean out before we put this back in. You don't wanna put all that back in. Man, that piece is pretty heavy. There's the VRO pump. Uh, what we're gonna do is go to the store, get some plugs for it, and we're gonna reinstall it. And we're gonna cross our fingers that the fuel pump side is still good. And we'll return the other fuel pump We'll just have the, oh, you know what? Sorry, guys. Just burning up fuel at $5 a gallon or whatever stupid fee it's at right now. That's all we're doing, so let's shut it off. I just didn't want to cycle it on and off. I like to at least leave it warm up for a little bit once you start it before you shut it down, but that's, that's plenty warm. It warms up quick. Okay, so we're gonna pop our shoes off. Why? I don't know. It just keeps us from dragging stuff in and out. Okay, so we're gonna find our bit to go on these. Be one of these cute little bits right there. Okay. I think I'm gonna make a little pile on each side, trying to make it a little easier. I need to, I might need to wear my bra a little higher. You guys think if I raised my bra up, it would help the view angle for you? good on this side so put that one there okay see I think if I moved you up so if I raise my top straps and get you up over the top of my breast this is that's going to give you better overall view I want to get a shoulder mount for you guys like so you can ride like a parrot like a little parrot view. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, I'd like to have a parrot on my shoulder. I don't know what type of parrot. Who owns a parrot? And I should say no, I don't actually want a real parrot for my shoulder, no. They're, you know, they're messy. They're uh, loud, they're up. 
when women want to sleep. That's not me, no. I'm up at 5.30, so the bird's not an issue. But they definitely can be detrimental to a normal male-female relationship. Which is where the woman likes to sleep all day. And the man's up early with the kids. Ooh, let's see here. Okay, so he is right. It is basically empty, which is a, a, a good thing. Uh, it's going to make it much easier to clean. Now, one of the reasons I'm, you know overly concerned about the fuel tank okay uh, he's not really overly concerned but he's going to florida and there's going to be a lot of expansion and contraction and this seal up here falling apart is definitely going to leak got so we're gonna this is the other reason okay um if we get in here and look you can see the crack starting in the fuel hose so without actually a, a visible check uh it's really hard to tell what's going on obviously behind closed doors but we're going to get all of this out clean everything uh clean these hoses see how this hose is starting to get a mold on it uh, yeah all the way around which may mean that it's starting to deteriorate and it's actually what's coming out of the fuel hose is uh well, i don't know What's coming out of the fuel hose, guys? Um, some, uh, enough, enough stuff to get mold to grow. That's what we're going with. Enough stuff to get mold to grow. Because I totally forgot what you call that that comes out of petroleum. But yeah, so we're going to get all this cleaned up. We're going to get behind and get the cavities. I, I stuck the vacuum in that one. It's pretty good. But you can see all the leaves. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah back down under the fuel tank. So we're gonna clean this area. He's got some soft floor right here that we're gonna take a look at if we can see it. Um, more than likely they've just cut a hole, not treated the hole. And then you've got three screws, three screws, and you've got water and mud that was just sitting up under this front edge. And all of that together turns into, well, wood rot. So we're going to get this out, take a look here, see what's going on, see if there's anything we can do to stabilize that. So he's not putting a lot of money into the boat. Get the fuel tank clean. Clean the fuel tank out. Replace this seal. We may be replacing hose. We'll see. I'm going to try to save the hose if I can because, well, hose is very expensive. Uh, and that may not be, you know, once we get the clamps off, get the hose off, we'll have a better idea what's going on here. Now, I don't think that'll be too bad of a fix, uh, cause it's going to be, yeah, three screws on the outside. We can pull this whole piece out and hopefully there's no straps or anything on that hose and we can just finagle it right on out the hole. That would be nice. We'll go to a hose store, we'll get it cut exactly the same length, slide it back in, cross our fingers, 
that everything goes back in and lines up the way it's supposed to. So check on that. I'm gonna just put you guys back in the mount, clean my hands, and we're gonna get started here. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna flip this because that's not really the right size. size I have that fits it. Let's see. Maybe it is the right size. I thought it was too big. It's catching. Uh, okay, so what's going on is that whole strap is starting to come apart. Uh, we'll take a look at that when we get it out because, yeah, that's a bad deal. That strap is bad. In the... the this strap is good. Okay. Got this one here. Now this will be for your breather, your vent, because it has to vent somewhere. This will expand and contract. That's why I'm worried about that. If this didn't expand and contract with the hot air, I wouldn't be worried about that. I also wouldn't be worried about it if, you know, it was in a spot or when the boat tips it's not shoving fuel up against it and uh pretty sure that's going to end up leaking on him in the end there's no way to know for sure because well we're doing what we call preventative maintenance at this point because this is a boat he's wanting to keep and continue using so we're getting it ready to be kept and continued using now if you got a good memory to worry about all of these where do they go any of that sort of stuff i don't have one to fit that hold on none of that fits and uh, that's not gonna fit um, i don't think the next one's gonna fix i think it's gonna be on the other side of the box so we're gonna pull the box around here and it's probably that one that's in there that's missing Oh, no, nope, that one's going to work. Oh, the bugs are bad today, guys. Wow. I think I'm going to have to put bug spray on. I really do. I'm, not, I'm using a hand tool because, well, this is plastic. And you don't want to spin it. You don't want to do anything weird with it being plastic. And I don't know. Sometimes they're in the plastic. Sometimes they're not. I think I might. I'm going to screw this one back through. What I want to do is try to make sure I put the bolts back in the exact same hole they came out of. <sighs> now, if we got machines uh, threading on the inside, it's not a big deal. But if it's not machined, you do want to put it back in. I, and I don't know what we're going to find on the back side of this thing. I really don't. I got no clue. No clue. That'll be the next size up. And, uh, well, we're going to move this forward a little more if we can. There we go. Because that gives us a little better access to these back ones. I'm not sure about the screw. That may be down into the plastic. It may just be in the metal. Not sure. We're going to have to take it out to figure out what exactly is going on there. And then next we'll be getting these old hoses off that haven't been off since, well, I don't know. I think this is an 80 something, 92, 80 something. I've got the, the year, he sent me the year somewhere. Um, oh, I just lost that, that wire. Yep, we'll find it, don't worry. 
Yeah, see, that one was kind of twisted and coming out weird. Not what I like to see, but we'll get there when we get there. We'll be getting there when we get there. Dang. Dang it. There she is. Okay. We're just going to leave it attached then. Because if I can get it. Oh, I don't think I can get it there either. Okay, so we're not going to be able to do that. I'm really going to need probably another pair of pliers, but let's see if I can hold it and just break it free. Okay, we're going to get a box end to go on there so we don't shear the shaft on the inside. Let's uh, go find that. And I'm not sure what to do about these bugs today. Well, there's nothing I can do other than really putting some bug spray on because they are all over me today. Um, three eighths, that's what we need right there. That's a thick one. May not work because that is very thick. That's a thick puppy. You want a thin, thin, thin one. Okay. So here's what's going on. You can see how thick that is. It won't fit between the two washers. So you got to have a really thin... You know, one of those uh, really chintzy cheap Chinese ones are perfect. Those are my favorite. The Harbor Freight one. They're skinnier than Craftsman. I don't know about the new Craftsman. I don't have any, <coughs> any new Craftsman in. I don't really know. That, my box I bought before I got married, and I was with my ex 25 years, so, you know, you got to go out past that. So I don't know how many years I've had it. That's a long time, isn't it? There's another Craftsman. This one, maybe if it's 3 eighths on one side. It's not. 11 30 seconds and 5 sixteenths. I thought I had a double-ended... But I don't think I do. That's probably too thick. That's actually thinner on the one side. Um, there's another Craftsman. I'm gonna take them both. This one actually looks thinner. This Craftsman looks thinner than that one. And then if we look at this one, but none of these are what I would call super thin. They're just not. Yeah, these are gear wrench. These have been amazing with the flat. Oh, I love the twisted. I love the twisted, especially for mechanics work where you really you know, need to put some force on them. You get into the bigger ones, and they've got a huge flat spot for you to put your hand on. I didn't grab bug spray, did I? Well, that's okay. Nope. 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 None of those are going to fit. So, let's... Yeah, see, this is the thing. Some of this stuff is kind of specialty when you get to it. And I know I used to have some weird, you know, half cloth three eighths and stuff like that that I just don't carry anymore. I just don't do a lot of this, and uh, I hadn't planned on doing it, but I ran into a guy up here, and I worked on one boat and uh, cleaned the carbs, and then he had me work on a four stroke, clean the carbs, and a couple other things, and. And then another one, and now this last boat. So, but yeah, it's been a blessing. I hadn't planned on, you know, working on anyone else's stuff. Just, you know, because I've got enough. 
But uh, the Lord works in mysterious ways. He just always seems to uh, perpetuate what I need and puts me together with, you know, good people. And it just kind of works. He's just a all-around good guy. Not always there, and that doesn't mean, you know, you won't encounter bad people and bad things won't happen and, you know, life in general. Um, but I think that's also in how you look at it. I learned, you know, what I'm not looking for. What up? What up? I don't know. Because I'm always asleep. I'm just walking around to sleep. They tell me I sleepwalk. Like, uh, they, they thought I had narcolepsy. So, hey. <laughs> well, I guess narcolepsy, which is where you fall asleep just like you're standing up in an elevator and shit. So narcolepsy but you know i might be asleep right now just talking to you uh-huh it's all signed Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. See, the Lord works in mysterious ways. He's a weird guy. What do you mean? You're in the right. Look, you haven't done nothing wrong. We didn't, you know, it's not like we met and said, oh my God, we love each other and you left him. Which is really what he did. <laughs> yes, they'd have to. Oh, yeah. Ooh, wouldn't that be cool? Y'all? Oh, shit. Because they told them to move away from the building because it could blow up and damage their car. But I think if you're parked within... You know, uh, <laughs> one block radius, you're fucked. If it goes up, you're fucked. I, I've been by an explosion like that before when I was on the island. And yeah, that ain't no joke. One quarter. Motherfucker. You're just like, my spot, my spot. <laughs> well, there's no name there to tell anyone. You need a sign at the front of it. We need to go get one of those signs made, and I will put it in in the middle of the night. Carolyn's parking place. All others will be towed. Oh, are people back in the building already? Okay. Ah, okay. Well, that's a good thing, then. Maybe it is just a dead raccoon or something. Okay. 
Okay, bye. So, no ranches in the back building. I'm going to go into Jesse's building and see if he's got one that'll fit. And if he does, we'll borrow it for a minute and then bring it back. Because I just need it to break it free. I don't actually need it to put it back on. Just to break it free. Look at this bike. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, he's rebuilding a uh, motor for the four-wheeler. Awesome. Those are all gonna be millimeters. See what that is, way too thick, but I'm gonna look anyways. That's 3 eighths, which is what we need. Guarantee is too thick. What we need is a paper thin, like this right here. 11 30 seconds. Both sides, yeah. We need a little 3 8 like that. Oh, oh, what does that one say? 11 30 seconds and 3 8 on the wrong side. That won't be 3 8 3 quarters. but too wide. Ooh. Three eighths. And that's like paper thin. You guys see how thin that is? So that's a kind of a, almost a standard socket. Um, let's find a Craftsman in here. There's gotta be a Craftsman three eighths. I think we had one in our hands earlier, didn't we? Well, there's a Craftsman 3 8 that's thinner than what I even think I have, but you can see that center one and how much thinner it is than the others. And that's what you're looking for. So I'm just going to borrow this one. Now, like I said, really, once we break it free, we're good. You really should use one to tighten it, um, but I'm not gonna over tighten it. I'm gonna use a little bit of blue Loctite when I put it back on, and that way I don't really have to, you know, crank on it. Like, well, people feel they need to when they don't have a Loctite type of thing, because, yeah, they will come loose. Okay, tractors are going by this morning. So I'm going to use two wrenches so I can kind of see a little more of what's going on. Hold this one steady. And then I'm probably going to try to set that one up on top where I can kind of pull together. There we go. If you do it that way with two wrenches, you can kind of see what's going on. So we're going to set that there. Should be a washer on top of this if it's installed correctly. No washer on top. Got the lock washer underneath, but I would rather have it directly to the brass and the ring. Okay, so we don't have to take that all the way out now, and that screw doesn't do anything. Now these, right? I mean, look at these things. You know these are not going to be easy, right? That would be too easy. Doesn't work like that. So what we're gonna need, we may need heat, but we're gonna start with my big old plier pliers. No, not them little things. If I had known those were there though, I probably would have used, tried to get them in there uh, to grab a hold of that nut. I didn't realize they were that close to us. I don't think they'd have fit. I really don't. The ends are pretty squared off. Okay, um, I think they're up here. But the squeaky shoes, a little wetness going on. So I got this pair, which I don't like at all. This pair has been, these are Irwin's, 
do not get the Irwins. Seriously. I've had these for a long time. I still haven't figured them out. Uh, you know, if you're working on something and you're like, okay, you got them all set. You got to see that? Then you have to reset them. Um, they might specifically be for, you know, one person's job, but they suck for stuff like this. These, which are also Irwin's. Oh, these might be DeWalt's. I think these are DeWalt's. I told you all wrong. Pretty sure these are DeWalt's. So DeWalt, you have to push the button down. And then it just wants to close itself back up. The Irwin's, when you pick a spot and lock it, <laughs> that's the size they are. Which, you know, for jobs like this, makes it much easier. So you want your pliers on there. And you're going to twist both directions. All you're doing is trying to break that connection. That's it. I know. Probably going to have to adjust them for that smaller hose. So we'll come in a click. Click or two. I don't know that was one or two. This one, you can see we can't really move it as far. Like, we're hitting the boat, so we're not getting as much rotation. So we're going to try to maybe swing it out a little bit. Okay. And just kind of get it now. So if I grab it past that nipple, put a little bit of pressure on there and twist it. A little bit of pressure. Don't go squeezing down because you'll bend your nipple. Your nipple should be some sort of soft metal, generally brass. These look like they might be stainless, actually. Okay. Whew. Same thing on this one. Just rotate it. Now, we may have to heat them to get them off, but I don't like doing that if I don't have to. There it goes. A little bit of thumb pressure behind it with the twist. Now, my problem's going to be I'm getting a weird angle here. My thumb's on this side. Now, this is my broken thumb, so I don't know how well it's going to do anymore doing this. But let's see. So, I'm getting on the other side and putting a little pressure to even up how it's coming off okay now let's go wiggle 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 jiggle jiggle okay that's like the craze or something now i even did a tiktok or one of them tiktok or instagram i think it was tiktok it put the music in for me i didn't even choose the music and it was just like you're doing wiggle wiggle jiggle jiggle and i was actually talking in the background now i can't figure out how to get rid of it So it's something I did, but yeah, just didn't have time to worry about it. Okay, now I'm just pushing the tank back. So what I think we're gonna do is kind of pull it forward a little more. I don't know what we're gonna get with this fuel line though. Okay, trying to start with my small ones and work towards the big ones. There we go. So I'm just gonna have to pull a little more pressure. I'm still not getting it. Come on, baby. Whew. Okay. That's what I may do now. Try to turn it by hand and push on that end just a hair. That's kind of working. Cool. Just wants to suck itself back on, is what it's trying to do. Okay, so I squeezed the hose in, the pliers a little more, and I got it to go. Now I'm going to hold back on it because it keeps wanting to suck itself back on. Squeeze right down at the tip again. We're going to do that again. Squeeze, squeeze, and push. And I'm shoving with these two fingers. And I mean shoving. Oh my gosh. Shoving. There she goes. Okay, now I'm going to wiggle a little back and forth. Okay, 
I don't want to split any of these hoses because once you split these hoses, well, you got to replace them even if they don't need to be replaced. We're going to check. Ooh, look at that. See? See? I don't care what filter you do. You start trying to run that stuff through it and, well, it's going to be nasty. I don't really have anything up here to catch it. So I think I'm going to do that. Maybe it stays in there. We're going to slide ourselves down here. I don't know if I have anything here either, but I'll take a quick peek. See what we can come up with. I guess we can use this again for now. I cleaned it out already, but that's okay. This is our methanol. Methanol? No, hydrogen injection system. I know. I want to install it in the adventure vehicle if we get that far this year. I don't know. I don't know if we'll get that far. I've got a mountain of work in front of me already. Okay. There shouldn't be a lot in here um, because it goes up and around and back down so there'll be more fuel at the other side and if there's any little loops in this there'll be uh, fuel trapped in there but we're just we want to get as much of this out as possible because this is the stuff we don't want to run in i don't know if you can see that there's no oil in this but it is like nasty oily looking even though it's not premix okay so we got that one off and this one is just air and it's going to pop right off now okay so that's just a vent line that's all that is and then this is going to be your fill line which man oh man i don't know we're gonna see we're gonna see it's what we're working on right now um These, I'm gonna loosen these maybe a little more if I can get it to go. Yeah, so that's our damaged clamp, and uh, it's just it's not quite grabbing right. So uh, we'll see what we can do with that. I'll get it off and get another one. Okay, now I'm still not gonna like those for this. So that there, we'll run that back in just a few minutes. Let's see if I can get some way in here that I'm not gonna. Hit that glass. Okay, so it's wiggling a little bit, which is a good sign. Pull it over here. See the wiggle? Wiggle, wiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Wowzers. Okay. Whew. What I think I'm gonna do is try to pull that forward. So I'm getting farther from the fuel hose. And you can see it coming off now, right? I'm hoping that's showing up. Yeah, see? So if you can see that hose opening up, see? And uh, that's why we do this. You know, that's why I just didn't put fuel in a boat that's not been run. That the customer is going to go out and start running because, well, you know, right here. This would be the issue. I'd feel bad if he got in this boat, had a fuel leak, and, well, it exploded, which is a good possibility. So I never take fuel tanks lightly, even empty, full, it doesn't matter, because uh, they're going to fill it. They're going to fill it with fuel. That's the whole idea behind the fuel tank, right? All right. Try not to get too far up and out problem is i get off that nipple and then the hose is so deteriorated it's just not really giving me anything to grip on okay There's a little fuel in here. Now we can get our sending unit out. Oh, okay. 
or on the button. Okay, now if it'll come out because it really was not wanting to pull through there, it's catching on the old seal. I want to try to pop that seal loose. So I have a template. So we're going to get a special tool for that. Well, good morning. I'm doing good, except I have a gnat crawling in my ear. Yeah, I got it, I think. I don't know. I pushed it farther in or or I crushed it. One of the two. What are you up to today? Okay. Yeah. Okay. The one after that. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Yep. Oh yeah. Trying to get this boat finished up. I'm pulling the fuel tank out right now. And, uh, and I gotta clean out the fuel tank. Um, fuel hose, the fill hose is bad. Fill hose has cracks all in it. And the sending unit seal is bad. So I gotta do those. And get it back in, get some fuel in it. Um, get some. Uh, I'm gonna check the fuel hose, see if it's gelled up yet or not. I don't know if it is or not. Um, but it's easier to get to now, so I'll check all that. If that needs to be replaced, I'll replace that. Get the VRO pump back in, and then. Uh, find a battery, a spare battery, so I can hook up the 12 volt, check all the water pumps, bilge pumps, all that. And uh, then I gotta figure out why the uh, hydraulic ram, I think it may just be low on fluid. Let's see. Let me go all the way up. It goes down jittery. Goes up just normal. And going down, it starts to go. <laughs> but it's not doing it on this switch. I have a feeling it's just this switch on the motor that's bad. Uh, yeah. I got to get. Yeah, I got to get that all done. Um, and it back together before the end of the weekend. So I can take off next week and work. And then he can just come pick it up. It'll be finished. And he just needs to drop money off and pick it up. 